Internet, what's up? This is Rob from TechGuysSmartBuy.com, and we're checking out the Pebble Time. Uh, we had it for about a few weeks now, and I think we've we've had it long enough to let you know the ins and outs, and let you know who is this for, and whether or not you should buy it. So the new body is now water resistant, up to 30 meters. You can wash dishes, shower with it, all that good stuff. It retains the four button layout with three on the right and one on the other side, but they're a little more flush and they look a lot better and more aligned from the design. On the back, you have quick release pins for the 22 millimeter rubber straps. Um, so it's pretty good. The vibration mode is pretty solid. Like you'll, you'll feel it. it's not strong enough to make you spill a beverage in your cup, but it's strong enough to, you know, be an alarm or let you know something's coming in. Um, definitely feels lightweight, great on the wrist. It's, it's a much better design pebble. While, although this is better than the previous ones, I still don't think we've seen the best from Pebble just yet. They have the Pebble Time Seal coming, but I'm pretty sure next year, hopefully they you know, add some to it, it'll be a lot better. The, the obviously the most noticeable difference is the new color display. It's a 1.25 inch curve, you know, color e-ink display, and has LED black light. So, if you're familiar with e-ink, you know it's not the brightest display on Earth, like if you're coming from a Kindle or anything. So. It's, you know, if you're coming or if you're used to like an Apple Watch or a Moto 360 or something else, uh, it's going to seem like a very dim smartwatch. But then you get used to it. It's, it's pretty good. Like I said, you can view it in daylight, in direct sunlight, and, and it's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely something you got to get used to. This also helps out with the battery life. So the battery life, they quote it around seven days. I got around maybe about half of that, like three or four days, which is fine. So I get a lot of notifications. So, you know, with that said, it's still the best uh, battery on the smartwatch right now. So, you know, just got to trade off certain things that may or may not come with it. This is the current watch face I'm using. So say I want to check out what's going on in the future. I don't think I have anything in my calendar. So it'll just give you, you know, sunset time, temperature, and all that good stuff. You can go forward a few days, tomorrow. I have stuff to do, but I have yet to put it in my calendar. But if you go backwards, you go backwards a few days too, and then you can see a uh, missed call. There's a notification coming in. Go back that. that. Go back the previous day. Just came back from Texas. And then you'll see, you know, flight and time and all your other calendar information. Father's Day, Father's Day, previous day, this call. And yes, pretty much as far back as you can go. So, so to get into settings, you would hit the middle, this middle button right here. And then from there, you can check out your battery life. If you, if you have a watch face that doesn't have it, um, you know, vibration settings, and, you know, dig into, you know, the notifications. Like, Activity, time, date, display, system, and all that jazz. And then you can hit that one to go back out. If you got music playing, this is where you can change songs. Here you can view all your notifications. You choose to clear them all if you want to. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Animations are really, really cool. You know, doing something with the e this color e ink display. Alarms. And then this is where you can choose your different watch faces. I only have a few. I haven't been on a massive hunt. You can use it with apps as well. So if you have ESPN app and you want to see what scores what the scores are for your favorite sports team, you know it'll pop up in your notifications every time there's an alert, and then you can dismiss it or however you see it. Uh, we actually wind up giving it a B. I personally love everything Pebble did with the Pebble Time. On the spec sheet, it may sound a little underwhelming. In the pictures, it may look a little toyish, but it's it's definitely an interesting experience when you put it on your wrist and wear it for a few days. Notifications, the animations, even it feels uh, you know ridiculously light on your know, wrist to wear pretty much all day, and you know being waterproof helps and having longer battery life. All that just makes it help. My only downside is it's going to be a little harder to get people's attention you know, from Android Wear. You know now rolling out 5.1. Having all those new features, as well as you know the beauty of the Apple Watch. Uh, you know, despite what you may people may say or feel about the Apple Watch, it is a, it is a nice and premium looking and feeling uh, smartwatch. Some that you know, one that others have yet to kind of get into just yet. So then you have to factor in the price. 
see if that's worth your while as well. So, you know, so if you have to choose between these two, which one would you go? That's kind of the question because a couple times it retail for 200 and this guy's on sale right now for 150. So it's kind of, kind of, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to you know, make that, make that choice a lot easier. So there you have it a couple times in a nutshell. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything that you want to see covered about the couple times that we may have not done so, please let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.